All right. Good morning, everybody. It's Mr. Go. I just want to show you guys the emoji project that I assigned for week five for the third trimester. So make sure that you guys read the text and the instructions over here on the first part. Okay, it says the goal of the assignment is to learn the relationship between DNA, genes, proteins, and traits. So basically what you need to do is you need to use the emoji parts at the very last slide, okay, and put your emoji together based off of the DNA that you see on each one of these slides. And you have six of them to put together, okay? Now there's a little key. The key is actually on slide number eight. And so you need to use the key to figure out, okay, what color face, what color eyes, what size eyes, right? Uh, whether or not it's gonna have a to or teeth or show um, uh, like its mouth, right? Um, whether it's going to have straight hair or curly hair or whether it's going to be bald and so forth. So you kind of need to use this key. This is super important. So basically what you're going to do is go from the DNA and then figure out which protein it's going to be. So it's going to be one of these shapes right here. And then that will determine the traits okay, that it will actually be. So again, the directions. Read the DNA sequence three letters at a time. Use the DNA decoder, decoder Sorry, at the end. Okay, of the slide deck, use the chart, okay, to figure out which proteins and then build the emoji. So let's try it. Okay, so just for Jordan. So Jordan for color gene, they're talking about the color of the skin. So let's take a look at that first three letters. So C A T. All right. Now let's go over here. So C A T. Okay, so we're gonna start out in the middle and then we're gonna work our way outwards. So C is right here. Awesome. Okay, and then A is over here. Okay, so C and then A, and then it looks like T is over here. Okay, so C A T. So it's basically like C A and T. So if we take a look at that, that's the triangle that you see right here. All right, good. So if that's the triangle, all right, so we know that the first part of the protein is the triangle. So there's only two of them it says this one or this one. So they're either going to be yellow or blue. All right, so let's take a look at the second part of the color gene. It's C, C, A. All right, let's go back to this slide right here. So C, C, A. Okay, so we're going back to C, so right here. Okay, C now for the second letter right there. And then A, uh, it looks like it's over here. Okay, so C, C, A. So it's either going to be yellow or blue, right? Um, hold on, let me see. Let me go back over there. C C A, and then let's take a look over here. C C A. So it's these three right here. Ah, okay, cool. So what that means is, again, let me just go ahead and do it this way. So it's C C and then A. If it was C G A, then it would be this one. But it's C C A, and so it's this kind of three-quarter circle right here. So it's the triangle and this three-quarter circle, which means that they're going to have the yellow face. Ah, okay, cool. So what I'm going to do now is going to click on this, control C, so make a copy of that, okay? And then I'm going to put it right here. And Jordan will have a yellow emoji face, all right? And then what we do is we move over to the eyes gene. And we do the same thing, okay? So I think you guys got it. Uh, do me a favor though, right? So don't just delete this, right? Or cut it and then put it over here in the, um, in your character slide or emoji slides. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to run out of the pieces and so forth. What you do is you click on the link or click on the shape, right? Or the emoji uh, characteristic, the trait. You copy it and then you paste it into here and then place it into that environment. Okay? That's pretty much it. Um, you have uh, six of them to do. So this is kind of cool because you're actually reading the genetic code, figuring out which protein it's going to be and determining from protein what trait it's going to be. And that's exactly how DNA determines um, how to express these traits. So DNA translates into proteins. Those proteins translate into traits. Okay. It's good to... Uh, be uh, back in uh, learning mode for this week. So hopefully you guys got this. And if you have any questions, just send me a message in Google Classroom. I'll talk to you guys soon.